Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 21, Instructions by Prutha Maharaj, and text number 41. Ashantyanam takalutat vakobhidaihi shraddhavatam yamukahit janamati Navai tatha chetanaya vahishkrite Huta shani paramam shapar Yaguhu Translation and purport by His Loving Divine Ves S.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Translation Although the Supreme Personality of a Godhead Ananta eats through the fire sacrifices offered in the names of the different demigods. It does not take as much as pleasure in eating through fire as he does in accepting offering through the mouths of learned sages and devotees. For then he does not leave the association of devotees. According to the Vedic injunctions, a fire sacrifice is held in order to give food to the Supreme Personality of a God. In the names of the different demigods, while performing a fire sacrifice, one pronounces the word Swaha in mantras, such as Indraya Swaha and Adityaya Swaha. These mantras are uttered to satisfy the Supreme Personality of a God. Through demigod, such as Indra and Aditya. For the Supreme Personality of a God, it says, Naham Tishtami Vaikunde Yogina Mahesh Nava Tatra Dishtami Narada Yatra Gayanti Madhakta. I am not in a Vaikuntha, nor in the hearts of the yogis. I remain where my devotee is engaged in glorifying my activities. It is to be understood that the Supreme Personality of a Godhead does not leave the company of his devotees. Fire is certainly devoid of life, but devotees and brahmanas are the living representatives of the Supreme Lord. Therefore, to feed brahmanas and Vaishnavas is to feed the Supreme Personality of a Godhead directly. It may be concluded that instead of offering fire sacrifices, one should offer foodstuff to Brahmanas and Vaishnavas. For that, process is more effective than fire yatnya. The vivid example of this principle in action was given by Advaita Prabhu. When he performed the Shraddha ceremony for his father, he first of all called Haridas Thakur and offered him food. It is the practice that after finishing the Shraddha ceremony, one should offer food to an elevated Brahmana. But Advaita Prabhu offered food to Haridas Thakur, who had taken his birth in a Mohammedan family. Therefore, Haridas Thakur asked Advaita Prabhu why he was doing something which might jeopardize his position in Brahmana society. Advaita Prabhu replied that 
he was feeding millions of first class Brahmins by offering the food to Haridas Thakur. He was prepared to talk with any learned Brahmana on this point and proved definitely that by offering food to a pure devotee like a Haridas Thakur, he was equally as blessed as would have been by offering food to thousands of learned Brahmanas. When performing sacrifices, one offers oblation to sacrificial fire. But when such oblations are offered to Vaishnavas, they are certainly more effective. वंदे हम श्री गुरु हो श्री युत पद कमलम श्री गुरु नवेशवान श्री रूपम सागर यातम सहगन रघुनाथ अनुमितम हम सचिवम साधवैतम साबद्भुतम बरीजन सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सहगन लड़िता स्त्री विशाखा अनुमितम समन माइट थिंग दैट This all scriptures, they are written by Brahmanas, preached by Brahmanas. So it might be Brahmanas only for filling their own belly, they have created the scriptures. If you read this verse, which says that, if you feed Brahmanas, then God will be pleased with you. And that's why so-called, what they call? Liberal class of people are non-sectarian, secular kind of people, they think that this is all bogus, you know. No need to feed these people. They are making money out of this. But keeping aside that here, Maharaj Ruthu, actually he is speaking about this. Not any Brahmana, but a king who's supposed to protect Dharma. You know? In the beginning only we have read that what are the duties of king? King, he always look into the matters. Those are concerned with the social etiquettes, social values, morals. And he administered in a such a way that everyone should be sticking to their own duties. Kshati Trayate Sakshatriya who saves others from their deterioration. So deterioration of what? The morals that they should follow, the values that they should live upon, and course of the conduct of social life that everyone has to follow according to their varana and ashrama, as per their social status and spiritual status. And here, being The empowered incarnation of Supreme Personality of Godhead, Maharaj Prithu, he is setting a standard that everyone should follow. And that's why he says that Ashnatya Anantaha Khalu Tattva Ko Vidaihi Shraddha Hutam Yan Mukham Ijjana Mati Navai Tatha Chetayana Pahishkrate Hutashane Paramahansya Par Yaguhu he says here, Paramahansa. So who is this Paramahansa? Because Srimad Bhagavatam is called as a Paramahansa Samhita. The doctrine which is meant for Paramahansa. So who are these Paramahansa? Those are the devotees of the Lord. Hansa means swan has a particular characteristic. That's how you can make difference. Baka and Hansa, duck and swan. Because they look alike. What is the difference? Scripture says, Kshira Neera Yogi. When there is, when you keep a cup of water and mix milk in that, and you give it to the duck, duck will drink the whole thing. But if you give that thing to Hansa, then Hansa only sucks milk out of that. So 
So, the devotees of the Lord, even though they are in this material world, but they take essence out of that. Whatever material thing you give it to them, they will find out the real essence of that which can be used for the service of the Lord. And Bhagavad is meant for that, for those people who can having this particular quality. Parama Hansa. And when that happens actually, when you rise yourself or when you raise yourself from the platform of the Hatma Buddhi, the bodily platform of a life. As explained in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord says, Pandita is he who sees soul in each and every living entity. Vidya Vinaya Sampanni Brahmani Gavi Hastini Shuni Chayvash Papa Kecha Pandita Samadarshana. He is called as an equipoised and equivision who sees everyone as a soul rather than their body. He never differentiates them on the features of the body, but he sees them on the soul platform. And that person is called as a Pandita. Not just reading some books, he may gain a knowledge a lot, but unless and until he uses it practically and leaves upon that, he is not considered as a Pandita. Pandita means who sees everyone on the Brahma platform or everyone as a soul. So he is called as Samadarshan. So if you feed such a person, not any Brahmana, but such a person, that kind of a Brahmana. As explained in Amanu Samhita, Kalavo Janmana Jayate Shudru. In the age of Akali, everyone is by birth Shudra, low caste. Then, Samskare Bhavit Dvijaha. If they are trained, they are nurtured with the culture, then they become Brahmana. Not Brahmana, sorry. Dvija, twice born. Brahma Janati. And then he further says that Veda Padheta Vipratvam. If a, such a person who has God done Upanayan, Dvija Sanskar, if he is good in studying scripture, then he is called as a Vipra. Veda Padheta Vipra. And then Brahma Janati Sabrahmana. So who sees everyone on the Brahman platform, that is as a part and parcel of the Lord, as a soul, rather than looking at their bodies, when he sees soul, and when he interacts with them in that particular way, like Shukadeva Goswami, because there was a no asana in his heart, so he ne there is no need for him to put a vasa. Vasa means cloth. The person who has a desire to enjoy in this material world, only that person needs to hide himself under the clothes, you know. And when Shukadeva Goswami was passing by and there were some young girls, they were taking bath, they never cared, you know. But when Vyasaji, he was following Shukadeva Goswami, when they saw Vyasadeva, immediately they covered themselves. And Vyasadeva was a little bit amazed, he said, my young boy who is 16 years old, he just passed by who is like almost like your age, you never felt shy in front of him. But why with me? Then those girls, they said, because your son, he has a Brahma Drishti. Brahma Drishti means he has a vision by which he can see a soul, not body. But you, you have the intelligence which discriminates. You can see body. But he doesn't see that because he is not on that platform. 
and such a paramansa has spoken this Srimad Bhagavatam. And if you really want to understand that, what he has spoken, then we need to cultivate those qualities. And if you feed such a Brahmana, then Lord is very much pleased. That's what's said here in this verse. Not any Brahmana, but such a Paramahansa. As he says here, Although the Supreme Personality for God and Ananta eats through fire sacrifices offered in the names of different demigods, he does not take as much as pleasure in eating through fire as he does in accepting offering through the mouths of learned sages and devotees. For then he does not leave association of those devotees. And then Prabhupada quotes from Padma Purana where there is a conversation between Lord Narayana and Sri Naraji. Naraji asked the Lord Shri, where do you really live actually? It's not everyone to come and approach you, you know. You stay in Vaikuntha. Does everybody is qualified to enter there? No. Then where we can find you? And then Lord says, Naham Vasami Vaikuntha Yogina Amradeshiva Madhbhakta Yatra Gayanti Tatra Tishthami where you can find me, where my devotees sing my glories. Because Lord, He never leaves them. He is always with them. And that's why devotees are called as a Tirthi. Tirthi means those people who can make Tirtha. Wherever they go, they make that place as a Tirtha, holy place. Why? Because Tirthi Bhuta Swayam Vibhu. They are the person who can make any, they can turn any place into holy place because Swanta Sthinagada Pratha. Because they carry their Lordship in their heart. Even the Lord resides in everyone's heart, so everyone is carrying. But we never realize that, do we? That's why we, easily we can lie upon, you know. Because we don't believe that someone is there who, who is looking at us when we are lying. But devotees, they know there is a Lord and He is residing in our heart. And we don't know that. Because they realize it, so they act upon it. And when they act upon it, they become like a Lord. That's why they are called as a Bhagavan. When, that's why they address when devotees also sometimes as a Bhagavan. Bhagavan, Vyasa, Bhagavan, Narada. Because once, if you start meditating on their Lordship, all qualities, already we have all those qualities that Lord has, but we have in minute quantity. But when you get connected yourself with the Lord, you can manifest same qualities. We have example of Prabhupada. He came and he manifested all mercy part of the Lord. And that's why today we are here and discussing about the glories of the Lord. Because he lived upon that same principle. He never looked who is black, who is white, who is brown, who is yellow, who is pink. He never looked at that. He looked everyone as a part and parcel of the Lord. And that's why he preached. And if you feed such a person, then he's, here Maharaj Prithu says that Lord takes more pleasure than anything else. And that's why in Purusha Sukta prayers, where the first prayer to their Lordship has spoken in Rig Veda, there it is said, Brahmano hu yasya mukham asit. Brahmanas are his mouth. He speaks through Brahmanas, he eats through Brahmanas' mouth. In previous verses, we have seen, even Lord, he himself prays. He says that. Whatever opulences, whatever fame that he has got, all this is by the mercy of Brahmanas. And whenever he comes, he incarnates, he descends in this material world. He shows by his own example that how one should respect Brahmana. And we have a great story of Sudama. And Sudama Vipra, he was a friend of the Lordship. And when he came to meet the Lordship in Advarka, our Lala is so naughty. He always liked to 
test everyone, you know, and especially his devotees. And he does it in a hard way. It's really tough. A common man can't, can't go through that. Like when Sudama, he came, the Lord offered him a nice place. He washed his feet, sprinkled that water on everyone's head. And after that, he gave him his own pitamari to wear so that Sudama can do his sandhya. So after Sandana, Sandhya Vandana has done, then Sudama was thinking in his mind, if Lord asked me to stay for three, four days, I can stay. And then externally he said, okay, now I think I should go. The Lord said very happily, okay, please carry on. You can go. And then he asked uh, Dwarpa, a doorkeeper, go and get Sudama's dhoti. So he asked, okay, before going, give me back my pitambar and take this torn or dhoti, you know. You might think this is funny, you know. He's a Dwarkadesh and husband of goddess of fortune. And why? Why is behaving like that? One of his friends has come to him and he's such such a poor man, person. So why he just give it to him? Okay, go with that. No, he, he just took it back. And Sudama, without any dejection in his heart, he just gave it. He never thought anything. He just put on his own cloth and he started walking. But if you really try to understand what's there in the Lord's heart, then you will understand how Lord is merciful. Because when the cheetah was offered to their Lordship, he took that. As soon as he took the first morsel, he gave the opulence of Dwarka to Sudama. So he made him as a Dwarka Nath, you know. Then he took a second one. Then he gave him the opulence of Vaikuntha. Because he showed friendship should be with the equals, you know. So he made him as rich as Lord Narayana. Even though that richness was there, that wealth was there, his wife Sushila, she never touched a single thing. She was desperately waiting for her husband. And then they came and they offered, now you are our queen and take it. She said, no, I don't know my about my husband. He has not yet come. Unless and until he eats, I'm not going to eat. And here Lord was so indebted to that Sushila because when he saw that Chira with Sudama, he remembered, he, he said that, oh, I'm still hungry, you know. I have not eaten for many days. Rukhnimi was shocked. He said, there are 16,000 108 wives are there that are feeding you every day and you are saying that you are hungry? Is it a joke? The Lord said, what she has given, that was given by Mother Yashoda when I was a child. When I used to go for her, Gocharan, she used to give me this shida. And since I have come to Dwarka, I never had that, so I am hungry for that. And my Bhavima, this Sushila, she has given me that. So she is my mother. So I can't keep my mother hungry. So that's why Lord said, Sudama, you can go right now. That's our Lord. Unless and until you hear this from the devotees, you will not understand why. You know? And that's why scripture says, if you want to really hear about Lord, then hear it from Satam Prasanna, hearing from the devotees of the because they know the essence behind each and every activity of the Lord. And Lord gets pleased when you feed such a Brahman. Not any Don Dick Harry just having a two rupees genu around his neck or maybe because they said you have to wear so I'm putting it. So that's not a Brahman. Brahman is he who Brahma Janath is. Who knows everyone on that. So we'll stop here. We'll have Aarti. And then our scholar has come to make us hear something really wonderful. Granthara Shivan Bhagavatam Ki Shri Labra Bhutaad Ki